Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, I'm going to be looking at uh, Game Maker today. We're going to be creating a fighter game. And in order to create the fighter game, we need some sprites. So we're going to go to the internet and uh, download a uh, fighter uh, sprite uh, sheet. Uh, then go ahead and uh, grab one of these uh, sheets that are available. I'm going to open it up. Uh, fighter sheet one. Now, fighter sheet one, you can see that there's a large number of uh, sprites on here and this is a character that's in different poses now for our game uh, we need kind of a first a neutral pose which looks like this would be a good one so we're going to go ahead and uh, take that one just right click and copy and we're going to create a new file so come up here to file new and we're going to paste that in and now we're going to make sure the size is this is is a little bit smaller than this so just take this in a little bit and get it to come there it goes and I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm just going to call it uh, uh, F1 I'm going to put an R in here because he's facing to the right this is going to be important for me later so I'll save this and I'll open and do another one back to the fighter sheet now I want to have them throwing a punch also to the right there. There's a punch down here. Go ahead and get to grab this one. Move that over just a little bit. Yeah, oops. <laughs> Move them around. I'll go ahead and uh, make sure I get all of them. Right click, copy. File, new. I don't want to save the changes now. And I'll just paste them in here. And I'll save him as... Save as... F2 with a little R. And go ahead and save. Yes. And I need one more. Back to the sheet. I'd like to get him maybe kicking to a high kick to the right. Let's see what we got here. Right kick to the right. Let's see anything there? There's a good high kick to the right. So I'll go ahead and uh, cut that one. And just right click copy. File. New and paste and save save as bf3 again r and save that yes okay now i've got uh, three that i'm going to use let's go ahead and open up game maker here got to come up here and create a sprite because uh sprites fighter and I'm put the r there because he's facing to the right i'm going to load him up and the first one's right there. There he is. And I would need to add the other two. So come up here to File. And go Add File From. And it's going to be number two. Open that up. And let's see. Keep original size. Uh, place that top. If that should be fine. And need need the last one. So File. Add From. And my number three. And open that up. Okay. So now I've got all three. I lost part of this. I'm losing part of their legs. So I need to do something here. Delete that one. Delete that one. File add. Let's take it again. Let's see what else we have. Keep original size. How about we use the maximum size? And okay. Yeah, let's add the other one. Three. And okay, we've got all three now. We've got their full, full image. So, okay. And okay. Now, if I go ahead and create an object using that sprite, uh, I'm going to call it Fighter again. 
I G H T R with the R because he's facing to the right. And I need to make sure I select him. Okay. Gonna go ahead and create a room. And I'll place him in the room somewhere just to make sure he's animated okay. And go ahead and start this up. See if we get him animated. Oh boy, he's really animating. Can't even see him doing anything. I mean, he's kicking and punching so fast. So I need to kind of slow that down. So I can go back to the room settings. See if I can slow down the room settings. Open up the room. Let's go to settings. It's 30 right now. Let's drop that down to about 10 for the speed and see how that does. Yeah, let's start them up again. Okay, that's a little better. Can't hardly see the uh, punch. The kick's pretty fast. So I could probably slow that down even more. Or maybe add some more, uh, more pictures in here to kind of slow, slow them down just a little bit more. And let's see. Open up that room. Go to settings. Uh, let's go down to about 7. And, uh, okay. Let's start. That looks a little better. Got a punch and a kick. Yeah, I think we can we can accept that. Now, uh, he's punching and kicking all the time, and I actually want this tied to uh, some kind of event, like a keyboard event, uh, right key or something. Then close this down. And the next thing I want is another sprite, but I want the sprite uh, in some kind of a neutral position. So let's go back to my.